Hey everyone, Balint here. I'm going to talk about Facebook Messenger's newest feature, the one-time notification. So we'll cover why is it important to have one-time notification in your bot, what are the Messenger rules and how does it fit into this whole ecosystem, how does it fit into with the rules and other types of messages, what are the use cases, how you can profit from it, what would you use it for, and how you can get permission for the one-time notification. After that, we'll go ahead and implement it, because theory doesn't mean shit if you don't implement. So let's roll. Why is it important? Um, Messenger is a platform for Facebook that brings profit for them, brings users continuously back to them. So they will always protect it. And they decide the rules and they want the user to come to the business and not the business to the user. Even if the business comes to the user, it should be of a benefit for the user. So that's what they emphasize with this new rule and the whole new regulations and updates, that it's about the user. And even if you want to send promotion that the user has subscribed to, has given permission in advance. So it's a permission marketing in the future for messenger marketing, big time. And one-time notification is the only way you can promote for free outside of the first 24 hours of the interaction. So let's quickly recap how does it fit into and how is the timeline. Basically, there are three stages here on the screen. The first one is the permission of the user. It's a quick permission. It's a button click or message. And then there is 24 hours after that, where you have pretty much free zone to send messages, unlimited messages, free messages, promotional messages. That's why I had it for green. And after this, if the user doesn't restart with a new permission, then you go into a period which is unlimited time really or one year and this could be for different types of messages there is a limit here what you can send that's why i have it with the red there are uh, five different types of messages that you can send here and the one-time notification which only is possible when the user has opted in first so these two are connected you cannot send a one-time notification here unless and uh, the user has previously opted in and there's the sponsored message which you can send anytime it's a facebook ad product works really really well and this sponsored message if they answer it then restarts the whole cycle and gives permission for you to send whatever messages you want Okay, so just quickly recap uh, how you can get this permission from the user. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a first time user or um, talks to you almost every day. Uh, the user has four, pretty much four options, sends you a message. This can be a button click, like the click started button or whatever button click that shows up. So it's not a URL link. Uh, it can be answering a sponsored message or a different type of ad. It can be just messaging your page and reopening the conversation. Uh, there are button clicks for links, the m.me links. Um, when you have, for example, uh, SMS sent out, then they click on it, or a website uh, where you have a link and uh, that reopens the conversation. And widgets, plugins, uh, for example, when you have a button on a website uh, where they click on uh, get into messenger or a classical example would be when they have a checkbox for the cart abandonment on Shopify or WooCommerce and then you have the permission to message them that they forgot to buy or stuff, for example. And reactions to messages, uh, I haven't seen this widely spread, uh, but people uh, can just give a thumbs up on your message or a laughing emoji that also restarts the clock reopens this green 24 hour window okay so let's look into the use cases facebook has some official use cases which li are listed on the website uh things like back in store alerts collection launches concert tickets going on sale price top alerts train tickets available customer service uh, so satisfaction surveys so you can see it's quite promotional in nature the only thing is that you need to ask for the permission and then you can send it. 
I listed out some other examples that I thought uh, would be uh, applicable to many of the businesses out there. It could be a discount alert, coupon alert, birthday greetings. You can in ask for this permission in advance. Uh, purchase or delivery reminders when you have, like, for example, can build in some scarcity that way. Product feedback surveys, new product variants are coming, waiting lists for launches, company news or even updates in X and Y category, almost like uh, the subscription message um, where you just provide some news with industry updates, for example, new case study notifications when uh, it's applicable in your business, you can uh, provide value that way, new videos or new Facebook notifications. It's only on your uh, imagination what you can uh, come up with and you can provide value and people want to subscribe to, then it's perfect. Uh, they can subscribe to it and then you can deliver at a later point. This is how it looks like. Uh, this is an official image by Facebook. So a uh, user wants something and you can say it's currently probably not available, uh, but you can get subscription to that specific thing that specific topic. So there is the notify me button, which is fixed by the way, it's in the user's language. And then uh, at some point later, you have the confirmation, the notification that it's uh, available, it's uh, ready for the user. I don't suggest to build this this way, but um, that's the official example. So I just wanted to quickly show um, how to get approval for this. This is very simple. You go into your um, page and uh, either via the business uh, manager or your personal profile just go to settings uh, advanced messaging you scroll down until you see the one-time notifications you click on request you have a pop-up here and then you just click on confirm <coughs> this is the setup now this might change in the future there might be more thorough um, application process but as of now it's pretty much instant once you hit confirm you will receive the uh, permission to send one-time notifications. So let's look into the bot building phase. All right, so here is how you can set up a OTN in ManyChat. So the content type, uh, that could be just uh, other, or you can just leave it empty as of now. Um, I usually have a predefined message before the actual OTN, just to make sure that there is no confusion because uh, as you will see, there is a um, different layout how this message looks like and the notify me button is not customizable. So I like to just point out that uh, they should click on the notify me button below. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, this is on the language, whatever they use Messenger on. So if uh, you have a audience that has uh, probably not English, then you should look up what is the language of their button and uh, use it uh, so it stays congruent. Okay, so basically the one-time notification is uh, here. Uh, this is how you can add it. Uh, actually, you could just like stack them as well if they know like they can subscribe to two things. You can just say two or link them after each other. And uh, as you can see, uh, there's a little bit of, uh, well, uh, limitations here. So you cannot change the notify button. You have to add a topic. Uh, I have added uh, OT and demo. And uh, one of the things that uh, here you have only 65 characters in total. And Facebook will start with this text, get notified. It's there, you cannot change it. So I just want you to um, make sure that uh, your text, whatever you put in here is aligned with this get notified when dot 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 usually that's the structure i would recommend as of now i'm still experimenting how is the best wording how people react but um yeah that's the thing so i'm um, let me go ahead and delete this and yeah you can start it with capital or, or i think even like the uh that that way would be better after the double dots um yeah that's pretty much it um you can have whatever you, your the topic is and make sure that you name it accordingly so you can use it uh, in later if it's a, if it's a date, uh, if it's a product, if it's a category, you want to have this uh, correctly labeled so you don't get any confusion later on.
okay? I suggest you have a little confirmation message um, or maybe ask for something else after that, but uh, you just don't leave your users hanging like Facebook showed in their examples. So what I'm going to do is now uh, I just going to publish this and actually send out to myself because the preview is not real uh, notification. It's just uh, manager tries to save you some time uh, for not using your tags. So the preview is not actually correct. So I'm going, I'm in the live chat now and I'm just going to pick uh, the one time notification for myself and you can see the whole layout here as well. So here's the get notified and here is the title I gave into it. It's another text by Facebook and then the notify me button. So I click on send this flow and it's actually sending the flow to me right now as you can see and I click on notify me. Uh, so it's a real test and uh, I'm notified I'm on this list. So let's go ahead and send out the notification. Uh, you will probably use broadcasts for here, but you can build out a flow and then reuse it later or link to that uh, flow later so with some sort of automations. But uh, I just go to ahead and the new broadcast messenger um, and I'm going to just quickly create a content type one-time notification. Um, here, one-time notification. And uh, here you can see the exact topic, the targeting OTN demo. So this is for the delivery. And later in the settings, I will set up the actual targeting. So here I just like, hey, your coupon code is available. Just go ahead and use your awesome or something like that. And you can add the button. Uh, you can add different buttons, like you can add the website, but it won't engage engage the user for the 24-hour window. Or you can just uh, make the first message a little bit vaguer and then add the button and add an extra message here. Uh, I'm just going to have this uh, uh, for now and add the website. All right, so let's go ahead and go into the settings and actually set up the targeting. So you want to change the um, message tags or type of content to this mix then where the tags are applied. So our um, tag, it's not really a tag, but um, our topic or message type will be OTN. And uh, here I already set it up. Uh, the OTN is a one-time notification demo. Uh, sending now and all that's good. And uh, as you can see, there is one user because I subscribed it previously. So I just send it now, broadcast sent. And as you can see, it appeared right in there. Uh, here is my awesome discount. All right, guys, um, that's it. If you have any questions, just let me know.